Hello, my name is Simranjit Kaur and I am working as assistant professor at Biani Group of Colleges. Today my topic is the voice in grammar. What voice actually is? Voice is that quality of the verb that tells whether the doer is uh, doing the action or experiencing the action. Whether the verb is doing the action or experiencing the action, we will get to know from this. Uh, we have two types of voice here, active voice and the passive voice. Active voice tells us whether a verb shows the subject is doing the action and the passive voice shows whether the verb is experiencing the action. So here we will get the example, uh, I love my parents. Here I is the subject, love is the verb and my parents is the object. So whenever we convert from active voice to passive voice, the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice. Here the object was my parents. Now in the passive voice, my parents will become the subject. Now here it, my parents is the subject and we will place is am are depending on the subject. If the subject is plural, here the subject is plural because here we can see that we have the subject my parents. Now this is plural so we will place are after this. And the third form of the verb which is loved is used here by me. This is the object. So in this way we convert from active voice to passive voice. So we can uh, start from the very uh, first tense which is present in definite tense. The rule to convert in passive voice is to uh, first we have to take the subject then is MR verb third form and the object. Now we will take the example of present in definite tense. Here we have the first sentence we do not like T. As we can see that this is a negative sentence, the negative will remain negative in the passive voice also. We will not change the sentence. If it is affirmative, it will remain affirmative and if it is interrogative, it will remain interrogative. We will not change the sense of the sentence, only we have to convert the voice from active to passive or vice versa. We do not like T. Here we is the subject, do not like, like is the verb and T is the object. So the object will become the subject in the passive voice and uh, this sentence will become T is not liked by us. Here we will become us, T is not liked by us. This is the third form of the verb and uh, here we can see that the uh, verb is experiencing the action. The T is not liked by us. Similarly, we have other sentences who encourages us. This, uh, this is an interrogative sentence. Whenever we have to convert this into passive voice, who will become by whom? We will start the sentence by whom. By whom are you encouraged? Next is how do you make coffee? How is coffee made by you? In case of how, when, uh, why, what, we will send, uh, start the sentence with these words only. How do you make coffee? How is coffee made by you? And the last sentence is, are grains loved by you? This is already in the passive form. And now we have to convert it into active form. Are games loved by you? This will be, do you love games? So hence, 